Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so going back to what we were talking about in the previous one. Um, and I was talking about my dad was the most beautiful human being in my eyes as I was growing up. Just beautiful, you know. And he wasn't the most attractive. Like, yeah, he was handsome, but I wouldn't say, you know, he wasn't any wasn't a Robert Redford or an Elvis Presley or, you know, what everybody would consider is what handsome looks like. <laughs> but, um, but in my eyes, he was the most beautiful human being, you know, to have existed for me as a child. And it was all because of his love, you know. So today I want you to start thinking about that, okay, about the way you look when you're out in the world are you always looking down are you spending your whole day that you don't want to be noticed think about it do you just want to get through the day and be invisible and then get back home and it's all done it's all good all lovely you don't want to interact with your day at all okay you don't look at anyone you don't or very little interaction so today I want you to start to think about why. Because we're not here to be invisible. We, we weren't brought into this world to be invisible. We, we're here to interact with it. We are here to interact with it, to experience it. And, you know, as a person that's being bullied, you have to understand that you're being bullied because already when you look at others, you're looking at them like you are less than. And I want you to start thinking about less than who or less than what. What is it that you're admiring so much that you're not that? You have to start thinking about that. You have to start thinking about it because we're not all here to be the most attractive. We're not all here to be the most athletic. We're not all here to be... You can't keep spending the rest of your life looking at what you're not. Now, in this one, what I wanted to address was... Okay, if someone is physically violent with you, when they're bullying you, because up till now I've kind of been addressing the ones that are just verbal abuse, they're just words, okay? And in a previous one, I remember saying, because to me it feels that way, when I was a child, if anyone came and said anything to me, it would be like a dog barking. If you went to someone's house, okay, and in their front yard they had a dog barking, they're barking at you, would you get offended that this dog doesn't like you? Would you start to get offended that he's saying something nasty to me? Would you get offended that... Is this dog bullying you because they're barking at you? <laughs> you don't understand what the dog is saying. He's just barking at you. Okay, so the words of a bully should have the same effect. It should be like a dog barking to you. Okay, it can warn you. You're not allowed in this yard. Back off. I'm protecting this area. The dog can be warning you, like, I'm going to bite you if you step into this area. But from there, to you take it home personally, oh, the dog didn't let me into the yard. There must be something wrong with me. Now, this is where it's going. The dog is protecting its yard, okay? If you're trying to walk into someone's front yard, and there's a dog fenced in there, and they're barking frantically at you and showing you teeth and growling, they're just protecting their yard. But are you going to take that as, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. The dog didn't let me in. It was making all this sound at me. There must be something wrong with me. I'm flawed. I'm broken. There's something that's not working. Do you go home and think all those things? <clears throat> because this is what, it's the same with the bully. It's just words. These words have no meaning whatsoever unless you take them home and give them meaning matter what the bully says to you they're words do you understand that they're words like any other words in the you know in the dictionary whatever words they're saying to you if you get upset about them it's because you believe that about yourself and that's where you need to start you need to start there Why is that true for me? Because the bully is just pointing out the obvious. You are already walking into the room with your eyes full of I'm less than, I'm less than, I'm 
I'm less than you and I'm less than you and I'm not as good as you and I'm not as good as you. You're already walking into the room with that. You're looking at all the things that you're not. And so the bully can see that in you. They can see that you don't know who you are and you're an easy target. Oh, I'm gonna get a reaction out of that one. I'm gonna throw these words that way. I'm not gonna waste it on him. He doesn't care, he's not even noticing. He's too busy. That was me in school. I don't know if they ever said anything to me about anything. I really don't know, I can't say. Because I was always in my own little world. And I was happy in that little world. I didn't care. What they said, what they didn't say. I didn't care, it didn't affect my day at all. So what's stopping you from being like that? What's stopping you? Okay, if, you, if you're getting on a bus or a train and there's already a habit that there's someone there that's always saying something or whatever, okay, and they're looking at you and they're saying something and you just can't deal with it, what's stopping you from wearing headphones and listening to music the whole trip if you don't have anyone else, if you don't have any other friends to sit with? Listen to your favourite piece of music. Really get into this piece of music. Really enjoy the sounds of the band, of the singers, of why you love this piece of music or this band why do you love this band so much start shifting away from like I said before start looking at all the things that you love that you really like doing that you really want in your life shift away from all those things and once again in this video I want to say the words of that bully mean something because you believe them. You believe that that's true for you. When they say things to you, you believe it about yourself. And it hurts because you don't want to believe that. You don't want to believe that you're less than anyone else. That you're not worthy. That you're not good enough. But it started up here with you before that bully even appeared. You already started comparing yourself and that you're not good enough. You don't measure up to all those people out there that you admire. So, in the next video, we're going to talk about how can we change that, okay? Because life is about finding solutions to the problems. You can live with a problem your whole life and drag it out until you die. You know that you're always going to get picked on for this, this one thing that you think you're less than. You can. You can spend your whole life just carrying the problem with you and not looking at it. All right? In the next video, we're going to talk about what we can do. Love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.